Okay, so hey guys, so today's video is going to be a liquid lipstick review and check-in on this Burberry, what's it called? Liquid Lip Velvet Bold and Matte Whipped Lip Cream in the shade Primrose number 21. So this is what it looks like. I know I'm holding it like upside down. Packaging is so pretty. I love the packaging on this. So I put this on my lips around... 9 this morning. It's around 9 45 right now. I have a full day of school today um, But I figured I would wear this all day I actually did wear this already a couple of nights ago when I went out with my friend to karaoke on Friday night I wanted to wear a matte liquid lipstick and I had picked this up earlier that day with my boyfriend So I tested it out that night So this is not a first impression, but from what I found this is extremely comfortable on the lips and super pigmented dries really quickly so it did impress me the first time, but I will tell you guys my thoughts on how it holds up today. I'm pretty much wearing it for the same amount of time, but I have to get to class, so I will give you the full rundown later. But it's so pretty on the lips right now. And it just looks like a regular lipstick. It's so pretty. Alright, I'm going to make this super quick, but I've been wearing the lippy for about... <sighs> Nobody's in here. Three hours now, and it's still remaining super comfortable. I had a couple of oranges and some water and looks still really good and super comfortable so yeah all right so now I'm gonna reapply it for you guys and show it how you you how it layers if I could speak today So it's like a really thin, light formula, which I really, really like. It's super comfortable for a long wear. I really like it. As you can see, it layers pretty nicely, and I like the applicator. Sorry I'm doing this all in like a bathroom stall, but I am at school, so... I'll let you guys know how it holds up after class, but so far it's been extremely comfortable the entire day. It did wear off on the inside, but I don't really mind that because it's so comfortable. Okay guys, so I wanted to do my last liquid lipstick review and check-in on the Burberry Liquid Lip Velvet. Um, I finally got home from school. It's been a long day. I'm really tired, so I'm really excited to just take my makeup off. This is like the first night I'm like just chilling and relaxing. Um, because, chilling and relaxing like, um, some, like, weirdo. <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that. Um, but yeah, so I have this on pretty much all day. Um, like I said before, I had Chinese food with it and some water, and then I also had some oranges and some water in the morning, so I have been eating with it on. I did reapply it once, and I showed you guys how it layered, but I will layer it for you again. I just want to give you all of the details on this first. It has pretty substantial packaging. The box comes like this. It comes in a tan box like this. It says the name of the uh, lipstick on the front. It says liquid lip velvet, so bold and matte whipped lip cream, and it says Burberry, and then it says the shade name on the top. It says Primrose number 21. Um, and then this is the um, actual tube. It's a frosted glass packaging. I really love this. Um, it's just really, really nice, and it just, like, screams luxurious to me, and it has, like, the print on the top, and then it says number 21 primrose on the bottom, like I showed you guys earlier today. So I'm just going to give you guys a breakdown how much it costs and what it claims to be and everything else like that. So this is a Burberry liquid lipstick. You can find Burberry in Sephora, Nordstrom, Bloomingdale's, anywhere they sell high-end makeup. You can find Burberry. Obviously, you guys know Burberry is a pretty well-known brand. Um, they are based in London as a London brand. And the liquid lip velvets are their liquid lipsticks. And these retail for $34.00. The shade that I wanted was Fawn Rose, but they were out of it in the Sephora in the city and also the one that I went to in Roosevelt Field. Um, so what it does, and it says, what it is, a, a statement making matte cream lip color with a comforting whipped texture. What it does, 
Liquid Lip Velvet is developed with an innovative formula that merges rich pigment, smooth application, and a whipped creamy texture for a bold velvet finish that lasts for up to 8 hours. The comfortable, non-drying formula keeps your lips supple and moisturized, ensuring that the color does not dry, fade, or crack. The only thing I would say is that the color might have faded just a little bit, um, but throughout the entire day, it has remained so comfortable. Available in Burberry's boldest lip color collection, each shade coats lips with a burst of saturated color that lasts. That lasts. Joining the Lip Velvet Collection, Liquid Lip Velvet provides a light as air feeling and a cushion soft sensation upon application. What it is formulated without parabens, sulfates, and I can't pronounce the last one. What else you need to know? This product is free of lanolin. So this is from the Sephora website. I believe Burberry is not cruelty free um, because they're most high end lip lip companies aren't, but I'm going to layer it for you guys again and tell you guys how it layers. But the only thing I would say is that it kind of wears off a little bit on the middle of your lips. And I don't feel like it's completely transfer proof, but it is so comfortable on the lips. Um, it only has become a little bit drying around this time, around like an hour ago. So I will reapply it for you. This is what the um, applicator looks like. It's a really simple doe foot applicator. Um, it's not like one of those pointed ones, which I kind of prefer, so we're just going to place it over the lip I have right now. It did get a little bit discolored because I was sipping water, so that's probably why. And it dries really, really quickly. But I can't believe how comfortable it is after it's still being on my lips for this long. Like, I'm kind of obsessed with the formula. I'm just gonna let it dry for a minute. All right, so I gave it around a minute to dry. I think it's pretty much dry now. I mean, it is. it does seem like it's a little bit wet still. Um, so I was gonna wait for it to dry down a little bit more, but I don't feel like these really dry down completely. I mean, they dry pretty fast, but it's still ridiculously comfortable on my lips. This is definitely one of the most comfortable formulas I've ever tried. And it just goes on so beautifully. Like, it's really not that... It, it's like a tad bit streaky, but I think a good two layers really um, just builds this up beautifully. I'm definitely so impressed with this. This is, again, like I said, this is not the second... This is not the first time I'm wearing it. This is the second time I'm wearing it. And the first time I wore it, I was so impressed by how um, comfortable it was. My lips are sticking together just a little bit, but I think it's still drying. Um, but I think the color is beautiful. The formula is just so comfortable. So I would definitely say I would highly recommend these. Also the NARS lip, uh, Power Matte Lip Pigments and the um, Giorgio Armani Lip Maestro was really, really nice. But this is definitely the formula that's impressed me the most um, when it comes to high end. This is really, really amazing. I tried this because of Young Wall and Polish. She said these are like some of her favorite liquid lipstick formula because she hates like drying matte lipsticks. I wouldn't say this is completely matte. It's more like a lip mousse, but it stays put. It doesn't really bleed anywhere. It does transfer a little bit like when I was drinking my water today. It did transfer a little bit on the actual cap, but I was making direct contact with my water bottle. I ate Chinese food off a fork with, I was sesame chicken with pork fried rice. It was like leftovers that me and my boyfriend had a couple of days ago and I brought it to school with me today so I could eat it today. And then I also had the orange juice in the morning. So yeah. Um, so now we're going to do the kiss test. So nothing on the back of my hand. Yeah, it definitely does transfer, which I kind of expected because like I said, it's not completely matte. But once I did that, it still looks great. Like it still leaves behind a really beautiful lip color. Like 
it, it kind of like came off a little bit around here um, when I kissed my lips. Like my lips aren't completely saturated right now. I don't know. It's just super comfortable. So I might even pick up another shade in this at some point. Um, but I do have a bunch of other lip products I'm waiting for from ColourPop, from uh, Beauty Bakery, which I'm super excited to try out their liquid lipsticks, and uh, um, the new lip plushies from Lime Crumb. I got like one shade in that. I got two of the new ColourPop Luxe lipsticks, and I got um, two of the shades in the Beauty Bakery because th this first one was like only five bucks and then this, I got a, a second one because I really wanted to try them out. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. This is pretty pricey. So if you want it, I would say maybe just pick out one shade or like I said, the Wet n Wild Liquid Catsuit Liquid Lipsticks are some of my favorites in the drugstore. They're a lot less money or like the, um, ColourPop Ultra Matte Lips are some of my favorites as well. So yeah, that's pretty much it. But if you want to splurge, I would definitely recommend these. I think that these are great. So yeah, I'm definitely going to be posting a lot more liquid lipstick review and check-ins. I still haven't posted any of them yet. I have the Rimmel one. I have the uh, this one. I have the Physician's Formula. I have the um, Giorgio Armani. I have the YSL. So there's going to be a lot because I'm testing out a bunch of formulas. So yeah, that's it. So please like and subscribe. Follow me on all my social media and bye guys. Before we do the kiss test and everything, I just wanted to tell you guys what I applied it with. So I just applied it with my NYX lip primer like usual. I always prime my lips with this. And then I just line my lips with the Wet n Wild Perfect Pout Gel Lip Liner in the shade, uh... What is this shade called? I think it's called Never Petal Down. Duh. But I thought this was a really pretty color to go with it. And then I went in with the lipstick. And now we'll do the kiss test.